lovely students how are you guys doing my name is Igeho Abigail and I'm going to be taking you on graphic package in our last class we discussed graphic package we looked at the two types of graphic package which are the painting package and the drawing package today we are going to be looking at the paint environment critically the paint environment like we discussed the last time is used to create designs or drawing on a blank canvas or on top of other pictures and the drawings can be deposited on the desktop or other applications if the need be we can scan pictures not only that we can even take pictures through photograph and view them or edit them using our paint package if you look at this beautiful sneaker it was actually designed using the paint package. Actually, we are going to be concentrating on the Microsoft Paint package today. Now, how do we open our paint package or our MS Paint? We are going to go to our Start menu at the left-hand side of our system. We we'll click on our Start menu. We we'll scroll around and then we will find our MS Paint. We we'll just scroll around until we get our MS Paint. If we cannot find it, we can use our search bar, MS Paint, and it comes out. Microsoft Paint. We click on it, and here it is. So we can see that it is easy to open our Microsoft Paint, just like you are opening your Microsoft Word environment. Now we have different uses of our paints one of them is that it serves as an image resizer we can actually resize our image using microsoft paint we can quickly redesign an image if need be to create or quickly resize an image if we want to use them just like the one we have on our screen then the second part is that it helps with precise editing with its grid lines. Although its grid lines cannot actually be resized, it can resize or edit using our grid lines. It helps in cloning images. Not that it actually, actually clones image. We can have two images that are different and can put them together to make a precise image if you want it like that thereby thinking that you have actually cloned your image. Then the next one is that it helps in detailed editing. Our Microsoft Paint enables us to be able to edit precisely, even to the tiniest detail. By just zooming in, you can actually get exactly what you want using our Microsoft Paint. It helps in image rotation. Our MS Paint helps us to rotate our images either vertically or horizontally. We can rotate our images if we want them to be like that. Then our basic shape in Microsoft Paint helps us to get beautiful patterns if we want one when we are drawing, just like the one that is right here on the screen. Not only that, it can actually help us to format our image for example if we have a gif image i want it in any other format we can just put it into our paints and then save it in any of the formats that we want it to come out as and it come out exactly the way we want it then another thing microsoft paint is very good at is that it helps replace color we can choose a different color can pick a different color and use our eraser tool to erase the former one the former color that was there erase it thereby replacing it with the new color that we have picked using our eraser tool so it helps to replace our colors at this point we are going to be looking at the various tools in our ms paint package so right here i'm going to open go back to my Microsoft Paint package 
and look at the various tools that I have right there. The first one is the paste contents into the clipboard. We can import an image from our system or from the web and paste it on our paint clipboard and edit it to the size or to whatever format we want it to become and save it or use it in that format. The second one is our select tool. We actually have two types of select tool. We have the rectangular selection tool and the freeform selection tool. We can use either of them to select our image while we are editing our image. Our pencil tool, which is used for drawing, that was what I used to draw this diagram just now. We have our fill tool, fill with color tool, just like a paint bucket that has color at the tip. Fill with color tool helps us to fill precisely whichever color we want to use. We can just pick it up and use any color we deem fit, we can fill our painting with it. You see that I filled my painting with my fill color tool. Then we have our text tool. Our text tool helps us to type. To help, it helps us to, to type whatever we want to on using our text tool. The next tool we have there is our eraser tool. Our eraser tool is a very important tool when we are using dealing with our paint package because it can, it can also serve, like I said before, as a color selector that helps you to erase a previous color that was there. To it erases it and put in a new color. With the color pickout tool, I can select colors from anywhere on my screen. I can select any of the colors from my screen and actually use it to fill whichever parts I want to. Our magnifier, it helps us to zoom in on our image to help us to get detailed editing when we are actually working on our images. You see that I've zoomed in. I can even zoom in more if I want to edit this part of my image. The next tool we are going to be looking at is our brushes. We have different types of brushes. We have the calligraphic brush. We have the oil paint brush. We have the spray air brush. We have the natural pencil brush and a lot of them, even the marker brush. These brushes helps us to design our diagrams. Depending on what we want to do in our image, we can also use the brushes. We can also use any of the brush to bring out whatever we want to do. We are going to go to the shape tool. There are different kinds of shapes in the shape tool. We have the line tool, we have the curvy tool, we have the oval tool, rectangular tool, we have the star tool. We can, all, we can use all of these to draw whichever diagram we want. We can even resize the lines on our shapes. See, I'm resizing my line on my shape. If I want it, it's smaller line. I have the hexagon, hexagonal and shape tool. I have the arrow tool and a lot of them. Cloud callouts and a lot of other shape tool. So I can use any of the shape tool while I'm designing or drawing a diagram. Our color tool by default has two major colors, black and white. The black color is the color that we actually use when we are drawing or writing our text. Like if I'm going to write any text now, it comes out in black or I want to draw. For example, I want to draw any diagram. If I want to pick my diagram and draw, it comes out in black too. Then the second color, color two, 
is our background color by default it is always white but we can change our image color let's say for example i draw an oval shape i want to change the color by default when i want to change the color it comes out in color one so if i pick one of the colors there and i want to fill it up it will come out in color one too so whatever your secondary color that you're going to be using normally comes out in color one and we can also edit our colors using our edit color section we can pick whichever color we want in our edit color section to use to edit our shape we have learned a lot today about our paint package in our next class we are going to be practically using our paint package to actually design beautiful images or diagrams at this point i'm going to employ you to download your paint package using your tablet your pcs or your phones so that we'll be able to do our practical classes you're going to join me as we go practically using the paint package so thank you very much for being in my class stay safe have a lovely day bye